just found a, a black racer, I think it is. A lifer, right when we get down here. It's weird I haven't caught rat snakes yet. I mean, well, the thing is, just yet. sitting right there. I didn't even notice yeah. you two. Um, he was just basking on there. Yeah, just kind of basking on these rocks near here. I'm so used to catching the water snakes, which have really keeled scale, scales and rough scales, but he's, his scales are so smooth, and it, the proportion of his eyes and his head to the rest of his body is so much larger. They have really good eyesight. They are very aggressive most of the time. The term aggressive can easily be misinterpreted in this case, so a better word to use would be defensive, since they will only bite when they feel threatened. This happens when they are touched, grabbed, or feel cornered. Some snakes are more sensitive than others and will respond more strongly when threatened. For example, wild water snakes and racers like this one are almost guaranteed to bite when handled, while species like rat snakes are much less likely to strike. So don't forget, snakes do not chase or attack other people unless they feel the need to defend themselves. This guy also has a little bit of a bluish tint to him. And he has that white chin, which is, it distinguishes him from some other species, the musk really smells. Yeah. See how he acts so much different? Like his head is way up. Most, like a lot of the time he's up and looking around. Whereas the water snakes are just biting and trying to get down into things. Because these guys a lot of times are in the long grass and they raise their heads above the grass just looking around for predators or prey. It's really cool. He definitely has that bluish tint like on his belly. And there is a subspecies that is blue, the blue racer. It's a subspecies of the North American black racer. But I think this one's just a southern black racer. Look at that. Look how blue that is. It's awesome. <laughs> the first few minutes. Oh, he's chomping. Does he have chomping on my arm? He I mean, even finger break this. The skin. No, he breaks the skin, but in very small. Like you can see right there, it's bleeding a little bit. It just doesn't have anticoagulant like the water snakes. That's why it's not bleeding everywhere. Unlike the water snakes where they just calm down, this guy is just going to keep biting. I do wish I had like, like my camera. Like if you look closely, it's like shiny and it's like rainbow color. Well, it's very glossy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like a rainbow at some point. It's got a black tongue too. Yeah, a very black tongue. Compared to the water snakes which have oh my kind gosh. of a reddish tongue. This guy must have had somewhat tongue. recent of a He's got like a dark like ink black whatever and he got like a recent um, show oh he's looking at your hand <laughs> he's so oh, smooth i know he's so smooth compared to the snakes we normally catch i know they're usually but wouldn't you say he had a recent show uh yeah well he's also just a juvenile and the uh oh, the water hole. snakes they need killed scales to float in the water to help be buoyant in the water whereas this guy he's not a water snake so What's all right? he'd rather be smooth to slither through everything and escape. Why they're called racers. Their scientific name is con uh, constrictor colubr, I think. Or no, is it colubr constrictor? I saw some of these in Florida. He's a lot slimmer than some other snakes this length. It's actually really long. Or longer than he looks. How long would you say that is? About two feet. Yeah. He's got a really elongated head from above and when identifying snakes like do you see kind of a lot of those scales on the top of the head a lot of those and just all the scales on the head will really help to be able to identify what species it is Ho, ho, ho.